Hello, welcome back to this channel where we share positive words, positive thoughts, motivational, inspirational ideas with the world. I'm delighted to see you again. Are you a kingdom citizen? Are you a child of God? Because that's what we're looking at today, heavenly citizens. One thing I know, being a child of God, is that yes although we live in this world we are not of this world as the word of god states we are citizens of heaven we have a godly heritage in christ jesus we gave our lives to god through the lord jesus christ of course and that gave us full access to the kingdom the celestial kingdom of our Father God. It's a delight. So I just want to remind us, come back to share and remind everyone who is a child of God, who has identified Jesus as the Lord of their lives. So that although, although we live in this world, we are not of the world. We are kingdom citizens and we should reflect that even while we still dwell on this planet earth the book of philippians chapter 3 verse 20 says we are citizens of heaven where the lord jesus christ lives and we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our savior the bible says it's not me we are citizens of heaven so we're waiting for jesus to return while we wait we as ambassadors as those who are representative of the kingdom of our God, we should be busy, active, spreading the word of God, showing the love of Jesus wherever we go. It's not an easy thing to do, but it is doable with the spirit of God that lives in us. Colossians chapter three, verse one to three, has some things to say about our citizenship. If you then are risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sits on the right hand of God. So as kingdom citizens, we need to seek things from above. What are the things from above? The fruits of the spirit that will always bring back to us. Love, joy, peace, faith, gentleness, patience, meekness, Self-control, love is, surpasses everything. So we have to seek the kingdom of God. Let's go further. Since you have been raised with Christ, set your heart on things above, not on earthly things. Yes, we dwell in this world. We have to run and chase our lives, things that would make us human, like working, pursuing a career, having a family partying, having fun, but we must never lose focus that we do not belong to this world. Let us be reminded, have that as the, at the back of our minds. We might take part in everything that goes on in the world. As representative of God, we must let his light shine through us. God is looking to us to shine, to be they were the ambassadors, those who would go anywhere and we do not even have to speak, but people would see Jesus through us. When we read further in verse three, it says, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. As heavenly citizens, we do not live our lives for ourselves any longer. It's through Jesus Christ. We are hidden with Christ in God. So let no fear be entertained in any manner, in any way in your life, in your heart. You are a kingdom citizen. You belong to Jesus. We have a godly heritage. John chapter 17, verse 16 says, Jesus tells us, there are no parts of this world, just as I am no part of the world. We are not. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Dearly beloved, let us go in this mindset as heavenly citizens, kingdom citizens, people who belong to the godly heritage, 
let us be the shining example through whom God will be seen. Souls will be won without us even saying anything. Let our testimonies be pure and true. How honest are you? Can your colleagues say for real that this person truly is a child of God? Let us stand strong. Thank you for joining me today. As you remain a kingdom citizen, shining and letting God come through you to others. I leave you in God's protection, peace, love, and joy. Have a good day. God bless you.